Okay. Good afternoon again. Uh, today in the laboratory part of our class, uh, we are going to focus on uh, the one that we have done in the lecture site, uh, which are the three main traits of the object-oriented programming uh, that are encapsulation, uh, inheritance. Uh, today I was intending to do polymorphism as well, but uh, let's do it on next week. Uh, but besides this polymorphism, we will just do examples about uh, like the other two traits, which are uh, encapsulation and inheritance. And uh, for the encapsulation area, I mean, while I am teaching this part, I'm going to talk about get set. And in the second part, in the inheritance, we are going to talk about uh, protected and uh, base class information as well. So let's start. Let's start. I'm going to share my uh, screen. So better the, to share whole screen, I think. Yeah. So when I share whole screen. Yes. So I will do the similar program, uh, similar course that I have done. Uh, which one was it? It was about uh, rectangle or yeah, we were talking about rectangle. So now to be able to enter uh, the, I mean, to be able to calculate the area of the rectangle, we are putting one text box as you see on the screen. And I'm going to put one uh, label next to it. And I will call it uh, the first one. I will call it height. And the uh, second one. I will call it width. As you see on the screen, I have width and height. Width. So it's English like width. <laughs> you must say this way. OK. And after that, we are going to calculate this uh, area. So then I will put this one here as area. Okay. And this one, uh, maybe to remind you, on the right hand side, you can see here there are properties. This area is text box. So I'm just going to run this program. When you run this program, as you see, <coughs> you can enter something here. And you can enter something else here. And you can enter something else here also. But it's not OK because area should be calculated. That's why we must just uh, protect this text box. I choose this text box. And on the right hand side, there is enabled button. I will make it false. And this way, this enabled false. So when you run it, it's OK that you can just put some information here, even some information here, but you cannot touch here. So you may remember this one in classroom, we did it already. And we, we put a button, and this button is going to calculate the area. So it is calculate. Mm -hmm. Let me choose text. Yes. OK, when I click calculate height multiplied by width is going to be calculate. So first step, let us create a rectangle uh, class to be able to create a class in the project menu. We are choosing at class button. So then I just open this <laughs> first of all. By the way, let me open here. Uh, is there any problem with my voice, with my uh, text that I write there, with the program? Any message? Everything is okay, right? You can see everything properly. It's okay, good. So let us carry on. We were here. So I just created a class because this class is going to be rectangle as we mentioned before. So then don't forget the name of this class. I put here wrongly, I mean, long way, rectangle, okay, and I created. 
So pay attention here, please. You can see we have class rectangle and the name of file is also rectangle class. And if you look at on the right hand side, this uh, solution explorer area, you can see this rectangle appears here as a file. OK, anyway, in this rectangle, let us start for the beginning. Let us start for the beginning. We do have integer height. Height. And we do have integer width. So we do have integer area to calculate the area. Because it's integer, it should have return value, return height multiply by width. OK, so then what are we going to do from here, from our main function, from our form, sorry, in the calculate button, Double clicking calculate to go in. I double click and I am in at the moment. In this calculate button, I'm going to write one thing, which is rectangle. You see it appears here. The name of first rectangle is R, for example. Is equal to new rectangle. So this way I created an object which is R. Then I would like to say R height is R dot Height. Unfortunately, it's not visible. Why? Because in the rectangle, this R, I mean, this height and width should be public. Public height, public integer, and public integer as well. Okay. So let's come back. Here it's okay. R dot. Can you see that? So then. What we understand, this blue shape here, it's shown blue, like say, how do you call it? Uh, I think rectangle, three dimension shape, rectangle. Okay, anyway, R dot height is equal to, what is that? Convert to int 32, text box one dot text. Okay, so what about width, R dot width, Convert to int 32 text box 2 dot text. What about uh, result text box 3 dot text is equal to what is that? R dot. You see area is which color is cubic uh, shape purple or whatever color it is area and two string goes as well. <coughs> OK, so then we are from the user. We are going to get height and width and calculate the area. Let's see how it works. Five. Three or let's make it six. Calculate 30 is here. So as you see, as you see, we can calculate 5 multiplied by 6, 30. By mistake, I can write minus 5, calculate minus 30. As you see, it's a problem. Okay, what is the problem here? Then you say minus value for the length, height, or width, or depth, or whatever it is. Result is becoming minus. Okay, so then what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's go back to our uh, class rectangle and they shouldn't be public. Height should be private. This is one. And width should be also private. This is two. OK. Height and width private. Private means like you cannot access easily that you did before. So then it's just private issue in rectangle. But area is public because it's only calculation of height and width. It's normal. But somehow from here, from here, for text box one, I have to get the height. From text box two, I have to get the width. So then, as you see in the coding area, because they became private, so it is problematic at the moment. Okay? I delete this part. I will find some solution here. At the end of the day, I'm going to get height and width from the user and show the area. 
Here is a uh, rectangle class and this is this was height. So what am I going to do? First of all, I'm going to make something public to be able to use from the other side. And secondly, it's going to be look at here. I say wait. Why it is wait? It doesn't need to be returned. And I put here set height. OK. Integer, let's say height again. And after that, I say here height is equal to height. Help me, please. What can I do here? You remember that this height, this height is coming from somewhere which is called. This height is belonging to rectangle. So then what must I say here? This height is equal to height which is coming from user. I, I believe you understand this part. Just repeat this. I just made it. We could easily say integer h height is equal to h, but I make it this way to make it uh, to repeat this issue. So then I set height and as you may remember, I said if height which is coming from user side is greater than zero, then this height it's OK. Else, what is this? This dot height is equal to. You can make it zero. What does it mean? If you put a negative value, result is going to be zero. What about with? Again, same thing, public void. And this time uh, set with integer width that I'm going to use. Open close brackets. And here is if statement. If width is greater than zero, then this width is equal to width, which is coming from the query. Else, this width is equal to zero. Is that clear? This is how you set. This is how you set the height and width. Should be this way. It should be this way. Spelling errors. I believe yes. So let's come back our code. Here we are creating a rectangle, an object. Pay attention here. There is no assignment. Uh, R dot. As you see that they are not blue now. Why? Because they became set height, set width. It is method. Set height, and in parentheses I have to write an integer value which is coming from textbooks. So which is convert to int 32 textbox one dot text and semicolon. Is this part clear? Look at here, pay attention. We are going to get something from textbox one. We are going to uh, convert it to integer. And this integer value as, a, as height is going to be set, is going to be sent to set height part. So when we look at the set height, what's happening? If the value is this height is greater than zero, then this height, which means that this one, you see when it's highlighted, all of them are highlighted, is becoming the one that you sent. And at the end, you are going to calculate the multiplication of with width. OK, and of course we are going to get R dot width, but set width. We are going to have convert to int 32 textbox two dot text. This is the second uh, variable that we get. So when you run it, when you run it, here is five. Here is seven. Five times seven. Calculate 35, no problem. If you make it minus 7, 
calculate is zero. Why? Because minus seven converts to zero because we decided this way. But logically, you can think about this one. The person who is just using this program, maybe he is using for the uh, coordinate coordinate system, coordination uh, coordinate system, and then the minus values for that one. But the area is going to be positive. Okay, so that's why let us do let us come back here. Instead of making instead of saying that this dot width is equal to zero, let's make it this way. It's going to be equal to width. OK, width, but of course, minus width. And this also. It's going to equal to height, but it's going to be minus height. Clear? Because if it is greater than zero, then it's going to be height. If it is less than zero, it's going to be absolute value, like minus minus seven. So then this way, if you run the program, if you run the program, you put here five, you put here seven, result is 35. You put here minus six, you put here seven, result is plus 42. You see, because minus six became uh, plus six and uh, result is 42. As you see here, this depending on yourself, so whatever you want. So I can write here only one line. I can write here work for 100 lines as well. It depends on what am I just uh, proceeding it. OK, what about to show <coughs> in the list box? Let's put here a list box. Where is it? Here. What about to show here in the list box uh, A and B? OK, so I calculated. I put in text box three. <coughs> text box three, the area. And this box one dot items dot add i will put r dot a as you see there is no a i cannot put r dot b uh, sorry r dot uh, height i was saying no there is no height can i say r dot set height no set height is to put some value inside i must get uh, height from the rectangle that's why what am i doing here if you look at here we just set the height here to put something inside because it is private. I must get also something from there. So how am I going to get it? Again, I'm going to make it public because it's going to return. I say get. And I will return this dot height. So this is uh, how you set how you put some information into height. This is how you get whatever you have into in your height. So then same thing, I must write it for here. I say uh, public again, integer, <coughs> get width and return this dot width. I don't need to use this, but uh, I said already. So let us come back here. Here, what am I going to do? List box one items add. I'm going to get r dot. You see, you can see here get height. Of course, open close parenthesis. And again, list box one items add r dot and get with of course open close parenthesis okay so this is how you create when you run it when you run it i put here five i put here eight five times eight is 40 and five eight appears here and here i put here minus five i put here seven seven multiplied by it becomes plus 5 so it is 35 look at here it's 35 and look at here 7 and 5 you see they became the second one became positive same thing here minus 8 and plus 3 result is 24 8 and plus 3 <coughs> plus 8 plus 3 
even if both of them are minus, uh, both of them are minus, result is plus 10, and because they became plus 5, plus 2. Okay, so this is how you work uh, with rectangle. We do access to private variables by using public methods. This is this uh, coding system is called shortly encapsulation. Okay, so as you see, we must think about everything and that much code I write to make set height and get height for a private variable. Look what I'm going to do. Look what I'm going to do. I create here a public and it is integer and I use height and open close brackets. So look at here. I deleted this part. You see this is I created by my hand step by step. But here there is a height. Do you think, for example, if I put semicolon here? Look at here. Is it OK? It's a variable, right? This is a variable which is private uh, and this is a variable which is public. This is variable which is small case, this is variable with uh, uppercase. As you may remember, because C sharp is case sensitive, you can use, I mean, these two variables are different. It is possible. Now, now, what am I going to do? I'm going to create another one. Integer with. So let me make also comment line. Uh, it's also comment line. OK, let's come back. <coughs> so I have height and width. I have height and width as well. Question here, as you see, because I just made them comment line, everything changed here. So I will just delete this part. I will just delete this part as well to do everything again. Now, can I say this one? R dot. You see height appears here. Is equal to text box one text uh, dot text. So then what is the difference between the previous one and this one? There is no difference, you see. And then I can still put negative values there here. That's why what am I going to do for this one for the rectangle class? This height is public, but this small case height is private. So this height is going to be visible for the user, for the other developers, but this one is private for the other developers. So that's why this one is going to be get from the user and it should be encapsulated. Sorry, this height should be encapsulated into height. So from the other side, when you say height, you thought it's only only variable. It's not only variable. OK, it's not only variable. It is something which has something inside to change this private integer height value. How is it going to work? How is it going to work? Simply without putting a semicolon here, I just open close brackets. You see saying that this height, these are the properties that we are going to use. What are they? First of all, I said set, remember? And what was set issued? That's it. We do not put any like parentheses, something like this, only brackets. Set issue, it has if, uh, I'm going to get something which is called value. If it is greater than zero, then height is equal to this value, right? Else, height is equal to minus value. Okay. <coughs> Do you understand this part? Oh, this is set set function set method that we created but it's just set we didn't say void we didn't say integer we didn't say public or something so what are we saying that height is capital letter height is our public integer variable it is set inside if you get a value for the height if height is equal to something this height i'm talking about if it is equal to something you are going to change something here and of course, we mustn't forget we do have get as well. Remember how we were using return. Is that clear? 
So then, as you see, it's much easier because we are using uh, C sharp uh, object oriented based programming language. That's why uh, we use height variable to create uh, set and get into it. So then this height, which is private, encapsulated to capital letter height. It shouldn't be capital letter. It can be something else. No problem. OK, but to be able to follow properly, to be able to follow properly, generally we we just uh, change the first letter to capital letter and we use it. And let us come back here. How do we use it? Pay attention now. It's normal variable, but look at here. This height has uh, some some special uh, symbol next to it. That special symbol is like key. It's not key, but whatever it is. Uh, height is equal to convert to int32 <coughs> text box one dot text. Okay, so then just to show you list box one dot items dot add and I say r dot you see height again. It's not a method. That's why we don't use open close parentheses. We use it as it is. It's a field. It's a variable. But the thing is that here we are setting. Here we are getting right. So that's why we have here set and get. So then same logic for the width. OK. You must do it for the width as well. So public integer width. No semicolon, open close brackets, and inside we are going to set, open close brackets, and get, open close brackets, okay? And set area, we are going to put whatever rule we have. If the value greater than zero that we get, then uh, width is equal to value without any problem, else width is equal to minus value. OK, what about get? Get is going to have return, return width. So this is for the width as well. So this is the encapsulation of width. So then when we come to here, the second one, you see, you can see with here with another shape. With is equal to convert to int32 text box two dot text. And the last part, list box one dot items dot add in parentheses are lot with. Okay. So it seems ready. So let us run it. What's happening here? When you say five, when you say three, calculate, you see five, three appears here. When you say minus six, and when you say seven, as you see, plus six multiplied by seven, 42, plus six and seven came here, and vice versa, it also works the other way. Is that clear? So this is called encapsulation. OK, so this is what I just did uh, tell you in the previous lecture in the on the board. One more thing that I'm going to tell you now, because in laboratory something extra you may learn. What is that? What is that? Pay attention here. Again, this width and height, the one that I created. Pay attention. All of them. I just highlight it and make it comment line. OK, now we are here. Very important. What is this private integer height? I want to access this height from the user side with my rule. Click right mouse button. Refactor. Encapsulate field. Did you see that? Let me do it again. Click right mouse button. Refactor and encapsulate field. As you see, what do you want to put as a name? Automatically, it made the first letter capital letter H, even you can change it. 
no problem. Okay, no problem. But let us leave it as it is because it's more uh, easier to, to follow everything. And you just say click. Okay, okay. What happened? Look at here. If you look at here, height, under this height, we have public integer get set automatically appeared on the screen. Okay. Now, if you don't touch it, there is no difference between making this one public or private. There is no difference because it is to get the read whatever you have. This is whatever you enter there is going to go there. And here, if you want, you can change some rules. Okay. For example, which rule? The one that I write, this one. Okay. This rule, if value is greater than zero, then you can put it. Huh. Can you put not only set uh, for the get as well? For example, whatever you have from the user, just you put in the screen. Okay. Uh, let me put. I'm sorry. To make it like proper. Huh. Can you put something into get? Of course. If for example, height is greater than 10 and return height. And return zero. Understand this? So then I put a rule here also. It's possible. I can make a for loop, for example. It's possible. I can do some calculation, it's possible. Is that clear? So then if height is greater than 10, then I will show it. Otherwise, I will return zero. Is this part clear? I can do for the uh, get as well. Okay, anyway, what am I going to do? I will delete this and do it one more time. Here is height, right mouse button, refactor, encapsulate field. It's going to be height. OK, OK. Instead of writing everything from the scratch one by one, automatically you can have here. Let us do it for the width as well. Right mouse button, refactor, encapsulate field, width, OK, and OK. OK, so then they are encapsulated automatically and you understand what uh, width and what, <coughs> uh, sorry, you understand what uh, encapsulation is, all right? So then this way, I didn't put any code yet. Uh, that's why we can do it later. But here, because it's the name, r dot height, you see? Same way you can see, is equal to convert text uh, to, to, to integer 32, text box one, r width, text box two. So then we do have text box one and text box two as height and width with the control of greater than zero or less than zero and we calculate the area and put in the list box items okay now one thing i would like to tell you for example is that possible to delete get in other words can i make only set in height is it possible does it work of course it does work but there is a problem here you see you cannot see that OK, because there is an error because we don't have any get understand, but without this, it's OK. For example, run it. And I put five. And I put seven here. And after that, when you calculate, as you see, five and seven, thirty five, it means that it is working. So pay attention here. I will tell you one thing. Can I delete set area? Is it possible? And as you see, it is also possible. There is no error here. But look at here. There is error here. OK, there is error here. So now pay attention to my sentence. If a variable has, if a variable has get and set, it is encapsulation. If you have only set or get, is also encapsulation, but what are we doing now? Get means 
I cannot take it. Set means I cannot put it. So then set means you can put something into height. Get means you can uh, take something into it. You cannot put anything. So this is called, this is called, you can write something into height. This is called write only. And this is called read only. Okay. In other words, for example, I made it 10. Question, can you be able to change width to another number? Impossible. You can only read, you can only get uh, width, whatever it is. It is 10 at the moment. Okay, so then this is write only. Can you be able to read height? It's impossible because there is no yet here. It's only write, so you can use it as write only. Okay, so that's why you can create some uh, variables. You can create something what you want, read only or write only by using, by deleting get or set. Clear? Clear. So these are called uh, encapsulation for this example. Okay. So what am I going to do in the next step? Encapsulation finished. So now we are going to talk about uh, inheritance. Okay. Let's talk about inheritance. To talk about inheritance, I'm going to, because I don't want it impact to the others, I'm going to close this and I will restart the third project. Third project, I mean second here, but third by four computer. Okay, a new project started. So then, let me just put here. And first of all, I will put buttons. Okay, the first button is called two dimension, two dimension. Okay, and sorry, second button is for rectangle, and the third button is called there and let me put another one last button is called triangle okay so there are four buttons and when we click this button something happened this button something yes this button something yes let's see and I'm going to put here uh, one list box to follow something. Okay. I put here list box to follow something. And I'm going to put here one label. This is for height. Okay. And I'm going to put here text box next to it. This is for two dimension. And I'm going to copy it and put here text box two. This is with. So as a default value, let me make it zero because sometime later uh, I'm going to work with it. Uh, it might be problematic. So these are other two. This should be text box three, if I am not wrong. Let me check. Yes, this is text box four. And two more. This is text box. Uh, five, text box six. Sorry, it was correct. And the last one. And the last one for the triangle, <coughs> sorry, seven, eight. Okay, so these are all uh, lines for us. And what am I going to do in the list box? I'm going to put the 
area of the result, whatever button I prefer, I click. Okay, so let's start. First of all, for the two dimension shape, I'm going to create one shape, for example, uh, project. I'm going to do something different than what I explained to you. For the two, two, 2D shapes, two dimension shapes, we do need at least one edge, right? Think about square, think about circle, okay? We do need at least one edge. So then we are creating a father, we are creating a, let's say, base class, which is going to have, which is going to have a property or field or whatever it is, is going to just shift it to the others, pass to the others, okay? That's why we mentioned 2D shape has two line, but when we think about it, think about a circle, think about a square. So then we need only at least one each, but sometimes we need second one, right? So that's why I create a class now. I create a class and the name of class, let's say it is two, <coughs> two dimension shape. Two dimension shape, when we say two dimension shape, as you see, a class appears. And for this class, I create public, okay, integer, let's say, let's say it is for the, generally, let's use it for the base uh, or let's say as a value. That's why I put here edge, okay. So I created a shape which is two dimension shape which is edge do we calculate the two dimension shape area no because we don't know what kind of shape it is it is two dimension only that's why this property is enough for the father one okay and from this point from this point uh, we need rectangle right so to be able to create rectangle 2d shape is ready and let us create a rectangle project class. Now I will create a rectangle class, rectangle. So if you look at here, it is rectangle class, right? It is rectangle. I need two variable for the rectangle class. The first one is public integer, let's say height and public integer, let's say width. And after that, I'm going to create public integer area and I will create return height multiply by, sorry, multiply by width. Okay. That's it. I created rectangle. Uh, the thing is that as we know that rectangle is created from 2D shape, that's why I'm putting here colon and I say here, you see two dimension shape, then I don't need to take width and I delete this. What does it mean? 2D shape is our main father. From this 2D shape, we have a rectangle. This rectangle has already this edge. Remember 2D shape, here is edge. This is for the base. And I put here height, extra I need height, and I'm going to write here. Uh, this is the problematic part. Multiply by edge. What is edge? Edge is coming from two dimensions, but don't worry, because when you write edge, it comes automatically because it's part of it's uh, part of the family. Because two dimension shape has the edge already. If you look at here, because it has edge, okay, it's not written here. It's not written here, but public integer edge. Okay. You can feel like this. Public integer edge is written here uh, and hidden here. Why? Because this highlighted part is coming from two dimension shape. Okay? You don't need to write because it's already son of, derived from base class from two dimension shape. Is that clear? So it is ready. 
So then let's put some code into rectangle. Question, here is rectangle. Double click. What are we going to do? We are going to create a rectangle, right? From where? From rectangle class. So then I'm going to create rectangle. It is on. Equal to new rectangle. Okay. First thing, look at here. R dot. Can you see H here? Aha. Look at, there is no H here. But because two dimension has H, rectangle also has H here. Okay. That's why R dot H. One line is equal to convert to int 32 text box one dot text clear this is the first one and what about this r dot height where is it it's in rectangle convert to integer 32 text box two dot text okay this is the second line and do we have uh text box three no we don't have text box three we have list box one items add in parentheses what are we going to do r dot of course area okay what is area height multiplied by h run it and let's see what's going to happen rectangle height is this is h in other words five W, what is this? It is four rectangle. Five multiplied by four is aha uh -huh, zero. How come it is zero? Let's come back and check check. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's normal. <laughs> Uh, because look at here, this is text box 3 and this is text box 4. That's why in the code area, I made a mistake. It's going to be text box 3 and text box 4. Okay, yeah, because we are working with them, right? Uh, actually, H is based, vice versa, text box 4, text box 3. Run it. And let's put again five, four. Rectangle, you see, five times four is 20. This is the area multiplication of those two. All right, now the next step, I would like to create a triangle. Let's think about triangle. For triangle, we can create, we can create from two dimensions again. Okay, we can create from two dimensions again. Okay, project class. So then I put here triangle. Number one, triangle class is ready. Number two, I said this triangle is son of 2D shape. So H base is ready. So then simply public integer height again. And area, public integer area, open close brackets. What am I going to return? Return height multiply by two dimension. That's why we do have H divide by two. Okay. So what's going to happen? Because area of the triangle is H, I mean the base, multiply by height, divide by 2. So let's go back here to the triangle. Double click. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Triangle ER is equal to new triangle we are creating. And tr dot h is the base convert to int 32 text box 7 dot text 
r dot height convert to in 32 text box 8 dot text okay so the next step list box one dot items dot add and this time tr triangle area okay so let us run it and see it the triangle we have let's say 10 we have 5 result 5 times 10 uh, 50 divided by 2 is 25 you see it's 25 what about rectangle if we have 4 and 5 when you click it is 20 here okay it's working properly so so far we have two different classes one of them is tri rectangle the other one is triangle there is no relation between rectangle and triangle only their father two dimension they are brother sisters whatever it is okay what about square what about square for the square we are going to have we are going to have uh, again two dimension similar to rectangle that's why my advice here can be we just click add class and we can just say it is square. All right. So then, because it is similar to square, right? I just put here as a similar to rectangle. I put here rectangle. You understand what I am doing? This is grandson now. Rectangles son, in other words. And and public integer area and what i will do is i will return yes h multiply by h because one line will be enough for us okay which is h so what am i going to do in the form sorry uh, in the form under square this is text box five will be enough for us or text box six also okay no problem what am i going to do first of all from square i will have s new square i created an s object and after that i say s dot h is equal to convert to int 32 what is that text box one sorry text box five text right finish list box one dot items dot add in parentheses s area open class okay how do i calculate the area h multiplied by h from text box five that's it when you run it here is text box five i made it like three when you click square result is nine as you see now what we learned until now how to create classes from father class so here our father class two dimension and it has only h rectangle is son of this two dimension you can understand here and it has h plus height already and triangle is also from two dimension it has height from at uh, height and h from two dimension already and we calculate area and what about square it has only area there is no any public or private any variable but rectangle has it that's why from rectangle it takes all the properties there okay all the properties there and what about uh, h there is no h here but it's coming from here it, there is e h here already so that's why we can say uh, square h is equal to whatever it's there is that clear so what's going to happen here? I think 
uh, yes. Now let's talk about uh, protected. The thing is that this edge from the two dimension part can be changeable, which is not good. So let's say in the rectangle area, in the rectangle area, we could say here public integer edge as well. You see, it's the same name and one more time that we use. OK, so when we do this, when we do this, let's see what's going to happen with the rectangle. OK, let's see what's going to happen with the rectangle. When you run it, when you run it, I just put the same name for the edge. When we run it, I put here 10 and I put here 5. 5 times 10 rectangle is 50, right? Is 50. Why? Because this edge has nothing. I put here edge is equal to 9 as a like uh, value edge is equal to 9 run it let's see 10 sorry 10 multiplied by 5 result is again 50 what we understand when we put here this way because rectangle is coming from two time dimension this edge is coming from two dimension as well OK, but if you want to make it like this dot edge. So then this time let's run it. And see what's going to happen. When you put 10, when you put 9 here. Again, 90 because I put 9. <laughs> 9 times 10 is OK. Let me put some other numbers. OK, I put 5 and 5, 5 times 5, 25. OK, so then. Something is wrong, wait. Uh, let's put. Let's put this edge here. Integer. Anyway, I, my intention was to tell you this two dimension uh, make it private, OK? Private edge is much better to do like this way. All right. Ha, sorry, I understand the uh, error. Here for the rectangle, you see this R edge was the problem. Uh, I was going to put here. Let me just show you integer edge for the rectangle, OK? And uh, I'm just making everything the pri private position, public integer. And here in the form one, look, r dot, when you say edge, this edge is coming from uh, top, from father, from two dimension, OK? That's why is normal that it's getting text box four and text box three from the user. So what am I going to do from two dimension? I'm going to make it private. OK. I'm going to make it private. So then if I make it private and if you look at the form again here, there is no error. OK, there is no error. Why there is no error? Because when you say r dot h, and this time this edge is coming from rectangle is normal, okay? Because we created edge already, and here this is this edge. So then, when you run program, where is it here? When you run program, ha, because triangle probably. Let me see. Sorry, sorry. You see triangle, there is no edge because two dimension uh, is an error because in two dimension here, this edge is private. Because it is private, you cannot use it in two dimension. Yes, okay. You cannot use it in two dimension. So then because it is private, to be able to use this edge into triangle, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? This two dimension, private will be protected 
integer h. What is protected, as I mentioned in the class already, protected is two dimension h can be used can be used in the family. Okay, protected is uh, possible to use in the family. You see, there is no error here. This error will disappear, and for square as well, there is no error when you run it. <coughs> what's the problem? Sorry, I will check. Ah, pro yes, it's true because protected means you can use it in the family, but you can you cannot use it outside of the family. Okay, so that's why it's an error. Error appears here. Probably same problem will come here because this edge. Ah, wait, let's run it. Let's run it. Uh, first, 10 multiplied by 5. 50 is working. 10 multiplied by 5 is working. Let's go here. Look at rectangle. So height and edge from rectangle is coming, right? So if you look at the code, if you look at the code, here is our rectangle. Here you are. Here is our rectangle. And for this rectangle, for this rectangle, R H means rectangle H, this one, not two dimension. Okay. R height means rectangle height, this one. Okay. Height multiplied by H is equal to height multiplied by H is equal to whatever we have from the user. Okay. So what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? I will try. I will try square. For example, if you put uh, five, if you click square, you are going to get 25. Remember, square had an H from two dimension. From two dimension. Look at here. Look at here. When you look at square, square, you still have H here. How come you have a H here? Because square is son of rectangle. Let us look at rectangle. You see, here is H. This H is coming to square. Okay, this H is coming to square. It's not from the, uh, either two, two dimension. Okay, so then this is how you use protected. This protected means H can be used in uh, classes, I mean, derived classes, but cannot be used in outside. For example, let's from here, let us create a two dimension. Two dimension TD is equal to near two dimension shape. Now, TD dot, as you see, there is no H. But if you normally look at here, it is protected. There is H, but in the coding area, there is no, as you see, H because it is protected in the family. Outside, you cannot use it. Okay? This is how you use uh, protected. Now, uh, I think that's all, huh? Yes. In general, that's all. So, let me just stop sharing the screen and come back to the chat area. Yes, any question? Nazaro, thank you. I fixed it. Any question from here? Wait, 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 wait. There are some messages. Did I miss some messages? Yes. Is... Okay, let's start this oh too many messages i didn't see that it is okay everything is okay the problem is your speed sir wow must i make it smaller i mean slower must i repeat everything uh five two zero zero two i will answer your question when we used to integer 32 dot pr uh, not parse 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 
P-A-R-S-E. Uh, when we use it, they are the same. Okay, integer 32 parts, not parse. Integer 32 parts and convert to int 32 are same. Okay, slow poke. What is that? Slow poke. Okay, this. Good. Private integer B value. Okay, this is I think the message. See more. Oops, I put. Can we use this structure? Of course, you can use this structure. This is what I said already. Sir, can you be a little bit slow, please? I did message. I mean, this see this message just now. I'm sorry. I I. <laughs> okay. Already recording this class. Yes, I am recording. Audio is really low. Not be able to hear. I hope. I hope you would use. Uh, okay, next time I will use it. Make it not working, man. Let me try again. Are you wearing earphones using speaker? If you're asking to me, no, I'm not using earphones. And why do we get? Can you give example? Uh, why do we need get? Uh, okay, do, do your back. You ask the same question again because I explained this already. To get the value from the class. I told this already. Yes, no. Halil, what is yes, no means? Uh, wrong text box, I fixed already. No question, do we have covered? Of course. What is no? I don't think we can use Taras structure. Taras, Taras, what's Taras? Uh, Nam, I don't understand what you said. Yes, it is okay, because it's private integer B. You're talking something else? There is no integer B. I do have. Okay. Do you have any question? I will. I will do for uh, Kahoot now. Do Porschel Naxu dine na Vietnam se? I don't understand. Uh, yes. If you don't have any question, I'm going to show uh, Kahoot. And after that, we are going to finish today's class. Uh, if I have any message, I will tell you just now. It should be private. Uh, this, is, this should be public, yes. Public. Double base. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just share this. This example. I'm going to show you what they did. Uh, let's talk about. So let's say we do have two dimensions. Let's say speech is equal to the default. And when we come to rectangle, and this is here. Let's make this a to five. And from the user, from the user, the fish is two dimension. For when I click two dimension, when I click two dimension, I'm going to create a rectangle. R dot. We have edge of it. When we are changing the height, okay. Edge is equal to, let's say, I'm just making a quick this one. Let's say this time. And after that, this box one, and this box one, times dot height, in parentheses, r dot area. Now, question is here. If height is R height rectangle. Question. 
what is the area of the rectangle? What is the area of the rectangle? Here it is. Height 5 by 9. H. H is 5. 5 is 5. And sum is 50. Let us see that. Let us see that. Run it. Okay. And when you click two dimension, that is the 50 appears. Why? Because height is 10 and it is fine. Okay. So when we look at here, rectangle, edge is fine. So this edge, I say base dot edge. Okay. Base dot edge. There are two edges. Base means is two dimension. If you look at two dimension, you can see it is ten. So then, from there, ten is coming here. Height is ten already. Ten multiplied by ten. Result will be. Let us try to see. You see, so then uh, somewhere in your program, if you want to use, if you want to use your uh, how to say, uh, base class variable, you're going to use base. And here, okay. for example, square. Look at here, this is important. If you say return uh, h multiplied by h, when you say like base dot h multiplied by base dot h, what's going to happen? Those edges are going to come from what is the base for this? Uh, what is the base for this uh, square? It is rectangle. So then, what am I going to do? I'm going to get rectangle square. Five multiplied by five is going to be twenty-five. But because in the program the square, we are changing the edge. Run it. Square. Where is five coming from? From rectangle. Let's check it. Square is here. Base H multiplied by H. What is it? Rectangle. What is it? There is another H here. H which is base. Base is two dimension. What is it? It is that. This is how it works. Closed. Next. Next. You. Who asked me that? Yes. Abdul Rashid, did you understand? What you want to see. Okay. So, okay, let's start Kavut and finish. Any messages? Any other message? No message. Okay. So, I'm going to start Kavut. After that, finish. Uh, uh, thank you very much for joining. After Kavut, I will just uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop. Recording first. Or, uh, 